YouTube, it's Sarah, our Stitching Kingdom. Welcome back. It is Saturday, July 31st. Happy end of July. First part of August starts tomorrow. So exciting. And I'm back. We've had a fun couple weeks. I, um, last week I kind of, or this week I kind of took off just to get used to being home because we had been gone in Missouri and I will tell you all about that in a little bit. Um, but just want to say really quick, um, welcome to any of my, um, any new viewers that are here because of the under a thousand subs club or just being shout outs in general. And, um, welcome to my returning friends and my returning viewers. Um, love having you here. Love seeing you here really quick. I'm going to shout out some, um, a new 1000 under a thousand subs club and she just subscribed and joined my channel and I went and checked her out and her name is Amanda and it is her channel is Lucky Chance Stitcher and I will link her below along with all my other thousand under a thousand subs club that I mention I link them low I think I'm gonna actually do a google doc so that it doesn't like take up all the <laughs> all the what is it characters for floss tube so that YouTube allows in the description box. So I'm going to do a link to a Google spreadsheet and I'm going to a Google doc. So I will write that down. So I don't forget it or my pen go. But this is a channel about cross stitch and life. And I do some knitting and I've started some English paper piecing and yes, lots of fun. I didn't get a lot of English paper piecing done but that's okay. I like that for camping. It's really nice for camping. And then I got a lot of purchases, went to a new needlework store when we were in Missouri, I met a couple of my virtual stitcher friends, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so what I've worked on is I finished, um, when I got home from our vacation, I worked on Colleen's favorite from Grace Note Stitchers. Um, and I worked on a blue Moroccan lace from Chatelaine and I am working on the bottom there. So I got all of this done, some of this done right here, got a lot of this done right here and I'm moving over and getting some more of these petals filled in and got more of the gold done on the outline, which is really fun. It's actually what I'm working on right over on this side because it's nice to have that outline. So there is blue Moroccan lace getting close. It's one of my zombie run pick, um, pieces. So you will see it for that. And I'm also combining it with Uno and um, which is a semi sane game that's coming up or event that's coming up this, this month. And it's so much fun I'm putting it back in its pill case. I need to make a better bag for that or have one of my crafty friends make me a better bag. Um, for my trip in Missouri, I did work on a geranium a little bit and she's a Nora Corbett pixie. Um, Vicki reading and stitching and I started her last year. I want to say she was one of my last starts. So, but here she is. I love her purple wings. It's so, so fun. So her flower and anything, everything but the beads are done in her, in her head there and backstitching, of course, because I wait till the last on these guys, because it's not very, it is not a lot of backstitching. So Let's put her away. She gets to, she's one of my um, Crystal Academy pieces too. So she'll come back, but not for a little bit. Um, and I got, before I went on my trip to Missouri, I got my zombie run and full coverage goal of, this is Yellowstone. And I tried to get 2,000 half stitches, which is a hundred, a thousand half, a thousand full stitches because this is two over one tenth stitch on my Yellowstone piece. So I have two pages finished. And I'm working on this third page right here. Cause this is like a half page. So I have two or one and a half pages to go because this is the end of the row. So I'm just going to work across and then I think I'm going to come back down here and 
do the stair step method on that way. Either that or do it this way. I don't know. Probably this way because this is my my right hand side. But that's my Yellowstone. Oh, it looks so good. And I'm kind of excited because Alice is going to be in fourth grade next year. And one of the things that they do, we were at um, Wilson's Creek Battlefield um, National Monument, National Park in um, Springfield, Missouri. And I totally forgot about the free National Parks Pass when you're in fourth grade. So, and the, I think the gentleman said to wait until September 1st because that's when the year restarts for them. So Alice will be able to have, we'll have a free pass for our family for that whole year. So I think a Yellowstone trip is in our future because it's only four hours from us as well as, oh, seven other national parks that are in the state of Utah. So <laughs> we're blessed with national parks. So, um, and then Yellowstone's also a zombie run piece and also Mermaid of the Pearls. I don't know if I showed my progress on her, but that's where she's at. So um, I'm really excited to start on, like this fin part is almost all the way done. And then it comes, it actually, there there's part that breaks off and comes, let's see, let me get that picture again. So I'm, I'm not done with the fin, but see how it's, it curves down. So that's the part that I'm working on. And then her that gorgeous tail that, oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I love, I love this mermaid and, um, super excited. I did see, um, I'm going to be starting Renaissance mermaid next year. And I saw that Amanda, lucky chance stitcher, she had, um, she's almost done with Renaissance mermaid. Um, she's got a, well, not, well, I'm sure almost done now because the, her last video was back in July, in January. So, um, she has a lot of really good, um, variation. She's got Santa of the forest, which is a beautiful lavender and lace. Um, she's got lots of mirrors, lots of Nora's, um, some really pretty, I like that she's doing the Brooks books, March sisters, um, so yeah, go check out Amanda. Like I said, I'll put her in the info in her information in the info box below. Um, and then my last zombie piece, yeah, zombie run piece is well rounded. And I think I showed you this one because I worked on it while I was camping, but that's what it's looking like. I'm working on winter right now and my batteries might die. So we shall see. Might have to do a cut, but that's okay. Um, but no wrong way. I chose poorly. So I have, and I probably shouldn't have moved this one over so far, but that's okay. So that's the first winter motif, the second winter motif. Ooh, I might have to add more to that to finish it. And then I moved clear over here <laughs> to do the last one. So I've got a bit of room there. Yeah, I should have moved this, this guy over in the middle, but that's okay. You live and you learn and it'll be fine. And I did get the finishing kit for this. They're pre-done um, mat boards and everything. So they're pre-cut and it'll be fine. We'll work it out. It is not a crisis. It's just stitching. So, and then this also got called for Uno. This was my number four project in my UNO list. Um, the rest of my UNO projects are, um, let's see here. Let me pull that up really quick. One moment, please. UNO. And Semi Sane is a closed group right now. Um, but it's so, so much fun. Um, so if it ever opens again, I'll let you know. Um, but we've had, there's, been some drama in a lot of the groups with people just not being nice and just being jerks. So be nice. Don't steal people's ideas. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so my whips for Uno are Blue Moroccan Lace is number one. Forest Goddess is number two. Mermaid of the Pearls is number three and Well Rounded is number four. So, and then you do a hundred stitches on that unless it's like a skip or an action card. And then, um, you do 200 stitches 
and then if um, Lucy spins the wheel and um, you and it lands on Uno all four of your projects need to get 100 stitches and then she'll just go from there and she added that in as new this year because or this time because it's just gonna be easier for her to do that instead of like going through all the posts because that can be crazy so and not fun so these projects are gonna get some love um, for whip go we'll just kind of mosey into plans and then we'll talk about knitting in a second um, Crystal Academy we're doing a field trip um, we also have um, whip go the numbers were called and they were for July mine were 12 and 2 and 12 was Alice for five days and she got her goal I did show her that before she went back into timeout where uh, uh, PD stitcher is like <laughs> I told her I told Alice that she needed to think about her choice <laughs> and she laughed at that and so yes I laughed at that um and then number two was Yellowstone for five days so I did reach my goal on that August um, was called and it's lady of the flag for five days which is not a problem i'm really excited about that and then number eight which is thine is the trick and the treat for five days so we'll be working on that one as well um so plans <sighs> talked about those you talked i am my whip goes gonna or my zombie run's gonna be the same it's gonna be yellowstone blue moroccan lace mermaid of the pearls and well-rounded and we're back Sorry about that. <laughs> yep, we ran out of battery. And that is okay. There we go. That's much better. And so, where was I? Oh, kind of plans. So, um, we've got a field trip going on in Crystal Academy for the next month. And then Stitch Gone Trail has been lots of fun. We just kind of work on what we want to work on on that. Um, we're working on a shooting star event right now, which is really fun. We're wishing for things. And then Lucy and Holly are going to spin a wheel and it'll be fun. We just kind of see what we get for our wish. Um, still waiting. I think finally our third person, our third family has gotten to the third trading post because <laughs> it's like we've been sitting there waiting and waiting. <laughs> Come on! Because we don't have to do as many miles because we have a blacksmith. So but anyway, um, but yeah, that's lots of fun. Um, my knitting I got a lot of car knitting done because, you know, two days there, two days back to Missouri. And I am happy to say that I am on my last color and I am on my second to last row on my Land of Sweets cow. And this is using a Forbidden Fiber um, Valentine's Advent. So and they'll need to be blocked. I'll ha get to learn how to do that. But there's that. I really like these lacing patterns. These lace patterns are kind of fun. So turned out really, really good. I'm very proud of myself. Um, yeah, it was a fun pattern to follow. Not too hard. And yeah. Um, so I think next I'm going to do a pair of socks as a palette cleanser. Um, I found this really fun Stellina yarn. I have to find it again. It's in my, my bag. And I'm going to try that. And it's got some sparkle in it. Um, so it should be, should work well for socks. If not, it'll be house socks. It'll be fine. Um, but I saw that Diana, it is kismet, did a shorty sock and she only did like five rows for the cuff and 10 rows for the leg. And I was like, that is a brilliant idea because I'm really not like a crew sock fan. I like the shorter length socks. So I'm going to try that and see how it happens. And you know, if not, it's, it's fine. It works. So haul, I'm going to do my most recent, which I bought yesterday. And this is cross stitch nation. I printed it out. It's a PDF. Um, bought it from Beth Twist's site because I just, I wanted a PDF. Make it easier. Um, Cross Stitch Nation. It's for a project for next year. Super excited. And let's see here. We will do 
my trip haul and um, got some gifts as well from, so when we got to Missouri, we um, went and visited my aunt, my great aunt who lives there, and um, had a couple different days that we were doing stuff. And then um, Wednesday, I got to meet up with um, with Laurel from Laurel Ann from Virtual Stitchers. She's also got a floss tube here um, on YouTube. And then Vicki from Reading and Stitching, who is headmistress of the School of Magical Stitches and um or camp head camp head camp counselor <laughs> um camp director of um, magical stitches and um also on virtual stitchers and it was just great to meet them in person and if i remember i will put a picture and <laughs> um but we went to cecilia's in branson and that is from the other so really quick, I'll show you what um, my my Cecilia's haul was, and then um, I will show you just some little stitchy kindness that we got. And my mom was there with us, and it was just a whole bunch of fun. Um, Alice came. Oh, and I forgot my little bag. We got a bag, and that was really neat. Um, a little stitching bag from a retreat that they were supposed to hold last year and couldn't. So that was really fun. All right, and I didn't do a lot of damage, but I did some. Um, I had to get some Krynic. It ended up, I needed a number four. This is a number eight. It's fine, it'll work. Um, this was in the 50% off bin. Sammy was stitching this, and I think somebody had called for it after her, so. Um, but it's White Willow Pumpkin and or willow or white willow stitching tribal pumpkin which is really fun so that'll be in my list that i'm saving for last um i found um jcw or jbw designs there's a little flamingo so i had to get him so cute and i threw that on the floor i'll pick it up in a second and then they had enchanted alphabet which is so so pretty there's a cute little girl. There's a bunny. So fun. And then I bought this. It's Choo Choo and it's Idle Time Designs, which is um, a designer. And this is, I'm do, gonna, it's just a little simple cross stitch I'm gonna do for my husband. Alice got this for her teacher. And then I got one of the new Mill Hill keys. This is the spring key right? Yes. And then I got this to make for a friend next year who owns her own yoga studio. And then this I got when I get Queen Mermaid. Um, this is Seraphim Capri and I'm going to stitch her on that. It's really, really pretty. And um, yeah, Vicky reading and stitching and I are going to do that together. Um, and then I also got, um, it says the bad thing about pie is nothing. It's a little freebie. And then this little spooky chart. That's a Cecilia Turner heart and hand. And those were some freebies. And then one of the reasons why you go to Cecilia's is if you don't have a most noble pursuit, this is where you get a most noble pursuit. And yes, I'm very excited about starting that. I'm going to stitch it next year. Um, I think Laurel's gonna start it too, so we will let you know. But yes, super excited. They were so sweet. We went out to lunch. Um, yeah, it was just great to get to know them and even more because, you know, you talk to each other pretty much every day, but then you actually see each other in person. You're like, ah, it's, it's different. So um, also Vicky gave me this cute little flamingo pen. Love it. It's like fluffy. She got Alice a mermaid pen who, you know, she, promptly absconded with that and you know it's I don't know where it is <laughs> there was um a little basket of freebies so I grabbed this cross stitcher magazine or cross stitch and country crafts I liked the love one another I liked these flowers so I haven't looked through it to see what other treasures might be in there um and then there was um Vicky was doing like a d-stash one night 
um, like on Marco Polo or Virtual Stitchers or something like that. And so my friend, I wasn't on there, but my friends chose that for me. Super cute, which Hazel's wardrobe. And then this is the stitching parlor and it's a, the stars in the heavens and it's a pin cushion, but it's shaped like a star. So you have to build it. I'm like really excited about that. So that'll be fun. Um, and also this cute little Mickey Mouse, or it's Minnie Mouse mug. So super fun. So thank you, Vicki. Oh yes. And something, and she also gave me this fun Alice in Wonderland fabric that I might send to Vic Gable to make me a bag or I might make a bag. I don't know. And then there's some fun butterfly fabric with it too. I'm super excited, but there's a lot, a lot in there. So thank you. Thank you. And then while I was gone, oh, one more stitching haul. Um, we went to the Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum that was over in um, Mansfield, Missouri. And that is the home that she wrote the Little House on the Prairie books. Her daughter, um, there's actually two homes that she lived there. The one is the farm on Rocky Ridge and then up the road a little bit and around is what they call the rock house. And in the twenties, um, Rose Wildler Lane, um, Almanzo and Laura's daughter built that house for them. Um, all the modern conveniences at the time and moved them into there. And she moved in to the house at Rocky Ridge and then started like, um, updating that, which was really neat. And she lived there for a time until her wanderlust got to her. And she's like, Nope, I got to travel because she was a world traveler. She was, um, this is Rose Wilder Lane. Um, and she loved living in San Francisco. That was kind of, or New York. Those were her two go-to places. She was very much a socialite, very much, you know, did a lot of things, wrote biographies. She was a very prolific writer. Um, and her mom, Laura Ingalls, wrote the Little House on the Prairie books um, during the Depression so that it would help those kids that are growing up that were her age, though, that they could learn that, hey, everybody has to go through hard times. And I really, really thought that was really neat. Um, I'd been there before. It had been when I was like 15. So it's been a minute since I've been there. And they had taken down the old museum that was there and built a whole new farmhouse style museum. It was really neat. Um, when you're in the homes, both homes, you're not allowed to take pictures just because, uh, and you're not allowed to touch anything because that means more sanitizing and they're trying to preserve those areas, um, as much as they can. So, and it's just really neat to see cause they built those houses, um, the way that they built that ha her farmhouse, the first farmhouse was a room at a time. And so the kitchen was first and, um, they, you know, lived in the kitchen and then they kind of built on to the dining room. They lived in the dining room while they built up and then they also built up and Rose built a loft. And as they built across, they extended the loft and, um, the upper floor, which was really neat. And they actually had a staircase as you went into the other rooms. So it was just really fun. But at the gift shop, they had two cross stitch patterns. Um, this is by the Posey collection. And this one is says everything ca came at us from came at us out of the west west storms blizzards grasshoppers hot winds and fire yet we wanted wanted so much we wanted nothing so much as to keep on going west so they just wanted to keep going um and so that is that and it's 18 count very simple kind of ecru color and then alice picked this one out so i'm gonna probably chart um get her bigger fabric so she can see it better. And it looks like it's just DMC. Um, and then it says when pa, when father played on his violin in the twilight, love welled up in my heart. So, cause you know, Pa's fiddle is like one of the biggest memories of her childhood. And, um, you, they, you see, you get to see Pa's fiddle in the museum and it's just really neat. I also got some English paper piecing. And this is line work from Tula Pink. This is I Heart Tula Pink. And these are fun because you can just do them. Um, I do them when I'm at camping 
And then this is the spirit animal set, which is really fun. Um, and then I'm also a part of their, her, a couple of clubs. One is the line work, um, bag club and it's the open wide bag is what I got. And it's got the lemurs. They're so cute. And then that's for the inside. And then these ribbons from Renaissance ribbons, lots and lots of fun. And then it also has all of the pattern and zippers, everything I need to make the bag is here. And I also have the soft and stable because if you know any by any patterns, she always uses soft and stable. And the other one I got is the clam up, but this is using the curious here and curious here ribbon and fabric. So, and soft and stable. So super excited to use those um and get into you know bag making hopefully when things settle down when kids go back to school alice goes back to school on the 18th we're starting um dance season starts the first or starts the second so yes starts the second starts on monday so we're super excited um oh and the fair our county fair um got sent me a postcard in the mail and said you know please enter the fair and they're accepting pieces from 2020 and 2021 because we didn't have one last year so which was really neat so um i'm going to do and i've started it i just need to stuff it and put the last part on is my haunted mansion drum and this was from stretching portraits from good morning maui so and then these little three gentlemen and i used that fabric which is super excited about and then this was just a batik that was in my finishing box i'm going to stuff this with polyfill and put that on so next time i will have an ffo to show you um so this is a partial ffo super excited um ray slade actually hi ray she the i saw this at stitch west two years ago um she had stitched it she had finished it into a drum even used this same fabric and so I was like I'm inspired and like me and Laura Busby we both bought we stitched this on the same fabric we split the fabric it's sea witch from under the sea fabric how much time can I say fabric <laughs> and um so I'm finishing it and gonna enter it into the fair so wish me luck on that one and then my piece that I'm going to also turn in excuse me it's my koi pod mandala so I just need to frame it. I'm trying to decide what kind of frame I want to put on it, but I can enter this into the embellished um, category. And I might, if I have time, I might enter another piece. I'm not sure. We shall see. So at least I'm going to do two pieces, see what we got. But yeah. So again, under a thousand subs club, go check out Amanda, Lucky Chance Stitcher. She was amazing. Um, under a thousand subs club was started by Heather Link is my homeboy. Um, Carrie, Carrie and Stitches, um, and they invited me to come along for the ride. So I hope you all have a great week. Be safe. Um, and yeah, so we'll take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.